Hi, um, my name is Selena Pichardo, and today I'm here to present my COM 168 term project presentation, um, which I had to pick a company to analyze their company culture. And I chose Johnson & Johnson. So before I really um, dive in and get into the meaty details of my presentation, I just wanted to give some basic information about the company that I chose. Uh, Johnson & Johnson was founded in 1886 by three brothers, and they wanted to be pioneers in establishing home health care products. So they were the first company to create um, a first aid kit for every single home. That was their ultimate goal. Um, and of course, when we think of Johnson & Johnson, we think of Band-Aids because they created that as well. But one thing that I found really interesting when I was researching on their company website is that Johnson & Johnson was one of the first companies to start creating women, women's health products um, during the 1930s, which is an interesting period of time for women because women's rights was still a huge issue. And also, um, health issues regarding women was still in the infancy stages. So the fact that this big company was creating products for women during this period of time, um, I found that really interesting. They just recently celebrated um, 125 years back in 2011, and based on numerous financial reports you can find online, um, their company profit for 2014 was listed as $16.2 billion. So they're doing really well for themselves. So the first thing that I wanted to discuss about Johnson & Johnson um, was a program they have for their employees called Employee Resource Groups. Um, this program allows employees to break off into smaller groups um, based on similar interests and allows people in the company to network and gain opportunities for professional development. I believe this relates to Maslow's hierarchy of needs theory because this program is satisfying a need for their employees, for Johnson & Johnson employees. Um, I'm going to reference our textbook because um, according to Maslow's hierarchy of needs, um, one of those needs is affiliation needs. And our, text, our textbook states that um, people feel um, long for belonging and we can find that belonging through relationships with their coworkers. So this program allows people to build relationships and as a result, people feel like they belong, which satisfy their needs, which can to lead inspirational work for the company. Um, if you look at Johnson & Johnson's uh, social media posts, you'll find that a lot of their content regards um, is about family. Um, they posted a lot about their Global Moms campaign, which is just pretty much hashtag Global Moms. Um, it was a campaign leading up to an event that happened on May 1st in New York City. Um, the event was called Moms and Social Good. Um, this event um, pretty much promoted and the power of mothers and families, which can create a better environment for our communities. Um, they also released um, an updated parental leave policy. Um, they published this on their social media and originally was posted on the company blog website. Um, this policy states that mothers and fathers have an additional eight weeks paid leave um, during the first week of the family's birth or adoption. Now keep in mind this eight additional weeks is on top of the original company policy, which means mothers can take up to 17 weeks of paid leave um, when they have a child or when they adopt a child, which is pretty good considering most comp most mothers get about six weeks paid leave. Some companies give you five weeks paid leave. So I found this really interesting. Um, it's this policy along with, along with their social media posts that I feel that relates to the family metaphor of the human relations approach. Um, the company believes that the organization is a family. Um, so the company uses this mentality when they're supporting programs like Global Moms or when they're updating new company policies like the new parental leave policy. Um, these are the two things that I really wanted to focus on because I found they were the most interesting. Um, and also because it really relates to all of us on some level. We all want to work for a company that we feel like we belong with. Um, when we start having families, we're going to want to work for a company and we're going to be looking at what type of uh, maternity and paternal paternity leave programs they have. So I feel that these were really interesting aspects of the company. I really enjoyed researching Johnson & Johnson. Um, thank you for your time and have a nice day.